simple. So yeah, Leo Bridge, we're going to use that to take some ERC20 token and get it over to BEP20 so we can get it invested in Cub Finance. And the point of choice we're doing in this example is USDC. I've got my microphone behind my computer. But obviously you could hear me anyway. Um, so yeah. Easiest thing to do is always do USDC to BUSD, especially when you're like grabbing, you know, US uh, ERC20 coin. Uh, obviously, you can switch to whatever coin you want, um, whether it's directly into Cub or into, uh, you know, whatever B Leo. Um, but BUSD is simple enough because then from there you can decide how you want to break that up uh, on Cub Finance. So cool. All right, yeah. So throw. Uh, Let's try and go with a bigger transaction, throw five grand into the USDC. Um, All right, cool. And then, so yeah, your recipient, you already have that in there. Um, so I don't says swapped already. Cause you, oh, so you did your transaction. You know, you have to refresh the screen. So, because he already did a transaction, so that's why it says swap. So if you hit refresh. This one right here? Uh, yeah. It should give you a fresh, fresh screen, yeah. Okay. And then obviously, so in the top right corner, you can see that your wallet's connected. You see your wallet address there. Obviously, when you first go on the website, it'll ask you to connect. Um, yep, you can just X that out. There you go. Yeah, drop your address in there. So the recipient is obviously your Binance Smart Chain wallet address. Uh, some people use one address on their MetaMask and just flip between networks. Other people have separate addresses. Um, to, you know, I guess designate it a little easier, but either one works. And yep, hit your select token. And do yep, USDC. And do USD. Boom. Alrighty, and hit swap. Let's see what that ETH fee is. Not bad at all. Confirm. All right, so basically after you hit swap, Leo Bridge is doing this thing in the background. So it's taking the USDC and essentially it's flipping it to uh, Wrap Leo. So it'll go to like WE first, I think, then it goes to Wrap Leo. Then it unwraps the native Leo, and then it gets wrapped into B Leo, which now is a Binance coin. That's the wrapped version, the Binance wrapped version of Leo. And then from there, it sells it into the coin that you want. That's everything that's going on in the background. In the end, we don't really need to know because that is the bridge and the service that is being provided for us. Um, so the only thing is, all right, how do I know when it's done? because right now there's no status updates on Leo Bridge. Uh, that is a UI update, I believe, is coming. So the way to do that is you can, A, just wait and check your wallet, um, you know, whatever, five minutes later, five to 10 minutes later, because each transaction can take that long. Uh, in order to do that, you do have to switch to your Binance Smart Chain, which will probably freak out the Leo Bridge if you're still on the Leo Bridge page. It probably might ask you to like switch back or something. So. I personally use just go on a tab, a different tab that isn't Leo Bridge when I flip it because then I don't have to worry about Leo Bridge asking me to like switch it. Um, also another way is you can look in the uh, scan. So you can look in the Binance Smart Chain scan for the BSC scan. That's another way to see um, you know, if the tra transaction has hit yet or not. So. Um, yeah, so that's the balance you already had in your, in, in your wallet, so obviously it has not hit yet. Um, so if you go to... Mm, let me throw the links in chat. So you can see it started with... Uh, with the ether scan, you can see that piece where it started, like it, that it you know did the first piece, and then from there you can kind of wait on the back end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that link in chat to go there and then you're going to type, you're going to dump your wallet address in up top, yep, in that bar and then just hit enter if it works. Um, cool. 
So yeah, you see like out two minutes ago. So that means it started the process. So now that top that top transaction, if you hit the link, so it says uh, you know like tax uh, transaction hash. You see that column on the left? Yeah. So I hit that. And then you can see what's going on. So you see it started, it did the first part. It took USDC, it went to the ETH and, and, and flipped it into Rapleo. So like step one basically is done. So now we're at the point where it's doing that unwrapping to wrapping. Um, and that's the piece that's a little more difficult to track. Um, um, so like I said, I usually just wait for the Binance Smart Chain side. So what I'll do is I'm sorry, what was that? So I just put the Binance Smart Chain scan uh, link. Click that? Yeah, click that and then do the same thing. Open, yeah, put your, you put your address in there. And now, so you will not, you won't see it here. What you gotta do is go to, uh, I think the BEP20 token transactions tab so you see like it says transactions and then you have that one there you go looks like it it's done yeah, well it says in i assume it's successful but we can check so you see like the second one is 20 minutes ago is one he did earlier yeah there you go so boom so now it showed up in your wallet you can see obviously the transaction happened in uh on the scan um and done and done so there you go. It took a few minutes. ETH is not too bad right now. Beautiful thing. So yeah, that's um, a lot better. Yeah, way better. So uh, yeah, click back on the Leo Bridge tab for me. Go back to your Leo Bridge screen. Thank you. All right, yeah. So now right now you see I said wrong network. That's obviously because you've switched to the Binance Smart Chain to see if the funds were in your wallet. So mm -hmm. if you want to do another transaction, you would just switch your MetaMask to the Ethereum network. Yep. And now you can do something. So that is how the Leo Bridge works when everything goes nice and simple. If you scroll down a little bit, and that's right there. That is basically a diagram of the process that I described um, that is going on in the background. And uh, you're starting to finish, you know, as you see, ERC20 to BEP20. And that's the process we just did. And when the Ethereum network and the Binance Smart Chain network are behaving, usually, you know, few minutes worst case 10 minutes um, so if it takes longer than that usually either a network congestion or B a you know something failed somewhere which that is what the tech support channel uh, is for on the Leo finance discord so you can get those uh, transactions that essentially fail um, either pushed or, or refunded um, but hopefully that is uh, an aberration in uh, at least in most times um, as of this recording, this is right after the crazy uh, crypto uh, sell-off um, about a week ago, so that jammed up the network some. So uh, that's also something to pay mind to, um, what's going on with crypto, because obviously the network congestion definitely picks up in those high volatile times. And that is the Leo Bridge.